ah, yes, what a fine festival we have going on here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that, that gravy is delicious. Ah, ah, yes. Whatever happened to that fine lad, Mike Schmo Mason? His little Ask Schmo videos were quite delightful and amusing. I don't know, sir, but I mean to find out. You'll do more than find out. Make sure he starts making new ones or feel the wrath of the YouTube king. I haven't heard that in a long time. Like, like two days. Well, I've been sent by the king of YouTube, and he asks for you to do more Ask Schmoes. He thinks they are quite amusing and delightful. Really? The king said that about me? Well, well, it, it doesn't matter. I'm out here doing a real man's work, all right? I'm out in the forests, clearing trees, living a life. No more internet videos. Is there any way I can change your mind? No. <gasps> Wait! Hey, 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 hey! You know how these things go! It's just a joke! You're supposed to. Of course I want to do them. I thought it was gonna be like a movie where you're gonna like blindfold me or like drug me or like uh, put that thing over my then I'll get into the have the my ether rack. Uh, the, the ether, thank you. That's what I was thinking. Of course I want to do these things! I love doing these things! I love Astro! Wait. Some questions. Wait, wait, can't do this yet. Gotta get into game shape. I represent the movies. This is a cease and desist order. This montage bears a striking resemblance to our property, Rocky. Any further use of our property in this such format will result in us taking immediate and painful possession of your soul. Welcome to Ask Schmo. They stop me in the middle of a montage. I was gonna eat those eggs, all kinds of cool stuff. All right, let's get started with some questions. Before performance, what is your pre-rock out with your cock out ritual? Matt and Julie Schleff. Well, thanks for the question, Matt and Julie, and congratulations on the new baby. That little baby Schleff is gonna cause a lot of problems for people. But anyway, back to the question. Um, I don't really have a preset rock out with your cock out ritual. I just do the normal stuff, some stretching, you know, loosening the vocal cords. But lucky for you, I've actually uh, pre-recorded some stuff from our last performance. So here's my pre-rock out with your cock out ritual. All right, guys, big show tonight. I need your guys' help, all right? I brought some stuff, I brought some stuff. Got some smokes, yeah, smokes, all right? Got some whiskey, whiskey, right? Get you some of that. There you go. I'll leave the bottle. I'll leave the bottle. For you, Iggy. But yeah, and uh, the 23rd versions are on their way. So uh, help me have a really great show, and I appreciate it. And as always, in the name of the Bowie, the Iggy, the Morrison, and Hendrix. Yeah. Wait. Wait for guys. What TV sitcom family would you be a member of? Senior physician, Julius Irving. So my choice for the family I'd want to be a part of is definitely the Matthews family from Boy Meets World. I mean, I, I loved that show when it was on, and I might still watch the reruns religiously. <coughs> anyway, anyway, um, that family would just be great to be a part of. I mean, Eric the older brother is hilarious, and think of all the life lessons I could still learn from Mr. Feeney. Who's your favorite cartoon character, and why? Jacob Raddins. Well, that's a really tough question. There's so many cartoons around. Are we talking about the classics like Warner Brothers or like Hanna-Barbera? Are we talking about action cartoons like the X-Men or something like that? Are we even talking about more adult cartoons like The Simpsons, Futurama, and Archer? Uh, it's really hard for me to pick, but I'm definitely going to have to go with Lionel Hutz from The Simpsons. Pound for pound, he's one of the funniest characters on TV, and Phil Hartman was a genius. I move for a bad court thingy. You mean a mistrial? Yeah. That's why you're the judge and I'm the law-talking guy. The lawyer. Right. What have you been up to? How's the new music coming along? 
John Smith. Well, thanks for the question, John. Things have been going well. Slowly but surely, we're getting the album finished. There's only a little bit left to record, and it'll be out for everyone to hear, and it's gonna be great. We're about ready for live shows, and things are just going really well. And actually, lucky for you, I'm gonna play you a sneak preview of the new album in its entirety. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna have a little fun with this one. This is gonna be a series of would you rather questions. Let's get started. Would you rather be the best racquetball player in the world or find $65 in the street? Easily $65 in the street. I mean, being a racquetball player is cool and all, but $65 is $65. Would you rather be sexually attracted to fruit or Cheeto dust permanently stuck to your fingers? As much as this weirds me out to say it, but I'd rather be sexually attracted to fruit than have any Cheeto dust on my hands. That would drive me insane. I wash my hands all the time constantly and just having the thought of having Cheeto dust everywhere, just ugh. Sexually attracted fruit. Would you rather never have to worry about money or live in a world with Pokemon? So I know a lot of people love Pokemon, but I... Fuck Pokemon. Never have to worry about money in the world. Why, why would you even mess around? You could probably buy Pokemon with the money you have. Would you rather have a lightsaber or have a helper monkey? This one's a bit of a dilemma. Lightsaber, helper monkey, but I'm almost always going to go with the helper monkey, mainly because I can teach that little guy to do stuff that I don't like to do, like folding laundry, doing all that stuff. I mean, a lightsaber's cool, but when are you really going to do it? You're probably going to hurt yourself. No. Would you rather burp confetti or fart glitter? For pure comedy, I'm going with fart glitter. I mean, burping confetti's funny, but farting glitter? Easy, easy. Would you rather listen to the Macarena for four straight hours or Mambo number no. five for four straight hours? <laughs> this one pains me. So we're gonna go a little, do a little test and see which one, which one is worse. So here's the Macarena. All right, all right. And here's, uh, here's Mambo number no. five. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica. I think that answers the question. So thanks again for tuning in to Ask Schmo. Uh, it's much appreciated and I love doing these, so please send in more questions to askschmo at yahoo.com. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, oh, by the way, this is now going to be a monthly thing, so send in those questions. See ya.